My name is Ren McCormick, and I want to move on behalf of most of the senior class of Beaumont High that the law against public dancing within the town limits of Beaumont be abolished. Yeah. Yeah. I'll be warned again. Roger, if I may address Mr. McCormick on this matter. Please do. Ren, besides the liquor and the drugs and the lewd behavior that seems to always accompany these types of unsupervised events, the thing that really distresses me the most, more than any of that, is the spiritual corruption. These dances, this music, it does distort young people's attitudes. You might find it funny, but I firmly believe that dancing can be destructive. And celebrating certain types of music can be destructive. And I think that you're going to find that most of the people in this community are going to agree with me. I believe a vote is in order on this motion. Will all those opposed please just Excuse me, to... I still got something to say hey, on this hey, issue. Hey, I thought Ren had the floor here. This meeting will come to order. <laughs> Mr. McCormick, I have been more than patient with your intrusions, and I would like to remind you that we speak for this town because we are from here. Excuse me, Mr. Dunbar. And for you to come into this council chamber and question our motives. Roger, stop it. I think Mr. McCormick has a right to be heard. I wasn't here three years ago when tragedy struck this town. And I know it's not my place to mourn the lives that were lost because I didn't know them. But it doesn't mean that I don't think about them every day. And like a lot of students at Beaumont, I see those pictures every day at school. And each time I see their faces, I think of how precious life is and how quickly it can be taken from us. I know this firsthand in my own way. And three years ago, nearly a dozen laws were introduced to this council in order to protect the children of Beaumont. And most of these laws, I can see, as a parent, how they make sense to you. But my right to dance when I want, where I want, and how I want is a right that you cannot take away. It is mine. See, we don't have that much time left. All us teenagers, pretty soon, we're gonna be just like you. We're gonna have jobs and bills and families. And we're gonna have to worry about our own children because that is the job of a parent, to worry. I get that. But ours as teenagers is to live, to play our music way too loud and to act like idiots and to make mistakes. Aren't we told in Psalm 149, praise the Lord. Sing unto the Lord a new song, and let them praise his name in the dance. Now, if anybody else brought their Bible, like I did, will you please turn it to the book of Samuel 6, 14. David, David danced before the Lord with all his might, leaping and dancing before the Lord, celebrating his love of God and celebrating his love of life. With what? <laughs> with dancing. That's all we're doing here. Ecclesiastes assures us there's a time for each purpose under heaven. There's a time to weep. There's a time to mourn. And there is a time to dance. And this is our time. There was once a time for that law, but not anymore. Thank you.